Baby mama house, good luck trying to find shit I switched some Glocks out hey, hey. Watch niggas, they got cotton mouth Nigga for the money, back though thirsty to sell you out hey, hey. Money low, bitch check it out Got the room for five whole days, and I'm checking out Man, we, we. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Daquan, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the best and easiest finishing badge method in 2K22. I was about to say 21 again, but before we get to the badge method, if you don't have any badges equipped at all, it's going to be kind of hard to get badges to do the method. You need about four badges because we're going to require a badge to do the method, but just do what i'm doing in the video just you're gonna have to fend for points it's kind of hard without any badges as a big man you don't have any dribble moves to get into positioning so you got to do what you can and that means setting screens rolling when you have to calling for the ball at the right time and just getting those close shots near the basket because that those are going to be the easiest shots for your build since you don't got any badges so yeah just keep setting screens and then rolling at the right time another thing you can do if you have like one or two badges is equip the drop stepper badge and then just keep doing those until you have about three to four badges so we can do the method and as you can see we have about almost 30 points just doing a whole bunch of random shit on the court doing what we can to get those buckets you see just running around and shit as a big man but after you do that and you have your four badges make sure you have some good dunk packages equipped some the ones that say off one are always good because they're gonna carry your momentum but for the badge we're talking about post spin technician you see i already have a couple badges equipped but it doesn't matter this badge is the one you need equip this and then you're gonna be good to go and i'd say if you have a high post moves attribute in your attribute category then you could probably put this on at gold but hall of fame is what you need you see we have post take that's the animation we're gonna get every single time it doesn't it doesn't matter if we have post take or not because look what we're doing in the video go to the corner or a short corner and then just post up and then just run past your guy it's really that simple call for the ball in the corner because that's where you're going to be most isolated as a big man if we try to do it at the top we're gonna be losing the ball and shit running into people but you still got to be careful though running into people near the corner as well as running out of bounds but when you post up and you post spin around someone it's kind of nice that you have two options to go left or to go right around them so make sure you you're ut utilizing that what 2k is giving you and bro my build has a 59 driving dunk if your center has any driving dunk at all or big man in general then you're gonna be getting a whole lot more my points than i am and you see we have a low ass layup too we still making those layups and shit so just know that and some good finishing badges to equip after doing this method or to continue doing it even more efficient is posterizer and slithery finisher just to get those extra points from those contact dunks because you do get more experience points from those contact dunks so posterizer will help and look i'm gonna be showing y'all what i'm getting right here you see boom 12k 18k and we get about 9,000 finishing and remember i am a 7-3 big man i have no driving dunk if you have any driving dunk at all you're gonna be getting way more of my points just doing this method look post go to the corner and just post spin around dude now if you're a guard and you're just watching this video then this method will work too but just not as more efficient i'm gonna be coming out with a guard video in the next couple videos so if you are a guard then just be on the lookout for that and when it comes to taking the ball up the court as a big man i recommend just giving the ball to a teammate and then just calling for as soon as you get into the corner because you're gonna lose a lot of stamina taking the ball up the court stamina is a big factor this year but when it comes to just being in the corner you're gonna get double teamed a lot you see like this sometimes you have to pass it out and then pass it back in and you see we got our takeover right here when you get your takeover it should be you should be getting easy points all around you see i'm still getting double teamed i'm still going up with it i do have post taking it does allow me to do this method easier but it doesn't matter we're still doing the same thing 
with this badge as you're seeing and right there we didn't even get a contact dunk but it's still putting us into position to score better and again we're getting 9,000 finishing badge points I'm gonna repeat again if your build has any driving dunk or you have any contact dunks on your build you're gonna be getting way more than me the only contact dunks my build gets is the elite big man contact dunks and those are only standing dunks i have no driving dunks equipped and if y'all see my last video about post hooks and your build has post hooks just use post hooks in my career bro post hooks is so easy it's basically like shooting the ball but not being able to be guarded while shooting the ball so if you do have a high post hook put on pro touch and hook specialist and go crazy into my career i will score 50 60 points with post hooks but this method you're still gonna get a lot of points i still score 40 50 points doing this method so this is very good and again for my guards out there i will be releasing a badge finishing badge method tutorial for y'all tomorrow or the next couple of days and you could try to do this method but if you don't have a high post moves then you're not going to be successful with big man it's just different even if you don't have a high post move you still have a lot of weight on your player and it's just going to be easier this is a big man move and again with the double teams you're going to get double teamed a lot doing this because you're scoring a lot of points so just kick it to the open man uh call for it back if he makes it good you're getting an assist if he misses you still have a chance to get the rebound so there's you don't have to cry about it too much if something bad goes down because overall you're going to be getting a lot of points doing this method and it's just super easy i'm trying to tell you now a lot of methods try to tell you to throw lobs and shit or call for lobs screens but that should be taking a whole lot of time i ain't gonna lie and you that that shit does not go in every single time this method right here is just efficient all around timing the ball going in you getting a dunk it's just efficient uh, again we're getting seven thousand points eight thousand nine thousand you're gonna be getting way more i had to repeat that just to let y'all know but if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm out